This time, we're looking at Philips Hue. So I've been interested in smart homes and smart technology for a long time. Um, but for a while now, I've been holding off. I'm ready for two reasons. One is the cost. Uh, these things still are not super cheap. There's no real good bundles uh, if you want to buy multiple items. Um, but with the upcoming um, release of different products, I decided now is a good time uh, to kind of try some of this stuff out. So this is why I'm sharing these videos with you. So this is part of the I guess the smart home playlist that we're putting together. And today we're gonna to talk about um, three things, um, or three products, all related to the Philips Hue brand of products. So the thing we're gonna look into in most detail is this item right here. So this is the, the Philips white and color ambient starter kit. So you get um, the smart bridge with this, you get three um, of the bulbs that are LED. So um, you've got a super bright whiteness, but also I think it's like a range of 16 million different colors. Um, so you get everything that you need. And really for me, that's kind of the idea of Hue. Um, Hue is all about being able to change the different colors. But at the same time, um, I think if you look, you know, realistically, yes, it's great to have um, the ability to change colors and show people, oh, look how awesome this is. But in everyday use, uh, you know, how much are you gonna use that? So with that in mind, uh, I'm looking at two other uh, Hue products as well. This is um, the white ambience uh, extension bulb. Um, so this is, I think, one of the most recent uh, models, you can tell by the shape. Um, so it's got a good high lumen output. It doesn't um, you know, do any different colors. It's just you know, a white light. And then finally, which is the older bulb. I'm not sure if they've discontinued this yet. Uh, it's one of the cheapest ones, uh, around 15 pounds for the bulb. Um, and this is just white. So it's not um, you know, the super high ambient light, um, like this one. So we'll see, really I wanted to kind of get a feel before investing more in this, kind of where should you spend your money? So let's say these, these bulbs are stupid expensive, right? So the color changing ones in the UK are 50 pounds each. Um, the white ambience lights, I think about 25 pounds each. And just the plain white ones are um, about 15 pounds each. So like I said, no kind of real deals right now. But I wanted to show um, the differences between the three types of bulbs um, and then kind of help, you know, allow people to make more informed decisions. So do you want to go for all the cheap ones or is it really better to spend a little bit more or are you going to go the whole hog uh, and buy the color changing ones? So there's obviously a load of different products that you can get, you can get the LED strips, you can get the LED up lights, all sorts of stuff. Um, but right now, I'm just focusing on kind of getting things up and running. Before we go into, I guess, looking at this in more detail and testing some things out, right now we're gonna look at how you can control these um, with the app. Um, people, I guess, so smart, lots of smart stuff could be considered gimmicky. I think for me, as a geek, you know, it is a gimmicky product. I think people with disabilities uh, and people that are not as mobile can definitely really benefit from this technology. Me personally, I really have no interest in being able to turn on and dim the lights and everything from my mobile phone. That's, you know, again, I think it's good fun, but you know, I'm not gonna get up every day and turn the lights on and off with my phone, it's just not gonna happen. So really what I'm interested in is integrating this with other things in the home, like the Amazon Echo or Siri or, or something like that. So I'm more interested in being able to turn lights on and off with my voice, as opposed to constantly having to get my phone out because I think that is just too gimmicky and I'm not gonna use it. So let's put these two to the side and have a little look. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get in this um, Hue white and color ambient starter kit. Okay. 
unboxing. So I'm sure there's lots of unboxings of this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But you can see here, three light bulbs. Uh, here in the UK, it's most common to have the bayonet fitting, or I think they call it B22 in this range. So the three bulbs that hue white and colour, a smart bridge, power pack for the smart bridge, and uh, a little manual. So obviously we're going to have to plug this into the network before we do some configuration. So you know, I'll, I'll pop away and do that. That's another thing um, that's uh, going to be interesting for me to test. So here uh, in the office where I do these videos is a separate building. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see um, what the range is like. So from uh, the access point where this will be plugged in, what is the range or do I have to get a, another a bridge that is repeated or, or how does it work? So I believe that the, the lights themselves, obviously I think they're using the Zigbee protocol. Um, so that will give off some additional range. So wherever the, if, if I have a light close to the office between the two buildings that they will extend it. Um, and that's another reason why I guess I haven't gone whole hog and also bought uh, more of these. So basically, as I said before, each of these lights are 50 pounds and the starter kit itself is 150 pounds. So if I need to get another one of these um, to extend the network, then it makes sense to buy another starter kit as opposed to three bulbs and the bridge separately. So we'll try that out uh, and see how it goes. So uh, hopefully this won't take very long and I won't get uh, distracted by other things, but let's um, go and plug this in We've got a, a little table out there we can do some testing on and uh, yeah, let's see how easy this is to set up. Okay, so we're back. Um, so that was interesting. Pretty much straightforward to install. Um, but kind of as I expected, um, there is some range issues between uh, the house and over here in the office. Uh, but the good news is um, also as expected, um, the light bulbs are able to do extension. So I installed one light um, over in the house and that's given enough coverage to then allow the light over here um, to work. So um, basically with this starter kit, as I mentioned, you get three bulbs uh, with it. Looks like all of those bulbs are kind of pre-assigned. It knew that there was three bulbs assigned to it. Uh, and that's just a matter of plugging them in and then obviously choosing which one is which. Um, so obviously I can't show you uh, very easily uh, the screen. So do some kind of overlays over here, uh, kind of how things work. Setup process is really easy. Uh, pl plug the, the bridge in or the hub. Um, all the lights will come on. There was an update uh, for mine, so it goes through update process, which is good. Um, then you obviously it detects um, the home hub in the app then all you need to do is kind of next 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 like I said it you can you can rename the the bridge or the hub you can rename the like, names of the bulbs and you basically assign uh, the uh, create your own rooms and assign the lights to it so in here um, we're going to call this the family room bulb um, so if you see on the screen here, I have uh, the family room set up and the family room bulb. Um, because this, uh, I guess, room or this light is, a, I guess, an extension of the um, other bulb, I do see some flittering between unreachable and reachable. Um, the, light, the bulb in the house seems 100% solid, so I think if I am going to have these lights over here in some, uh, I guess, some con context, I will definitely buy another bridge. I think and have that uh, have a duplicate one installed over here. Um, so, I think the interesting thing to note is obviously when uh, the bulbs are in, they they fail. I think to their last position. So this light was off. So as you can see, it is. Uh, actually, that's interesting. So. Killing power and bringing it back will allow the light to turn on and off, um, I guess, as expected. So I didn't know that. Um, so let's just see if we can get this uh, to be detected. So let's go in here. Light into on mode, off. Okay, so 
that's actually interesting. Even though it's saying unreachable on here, I can turn the light on and I can turn the light off, uh, which is, I guess, obviously what we want it to do. Um, you can uh, connect this in to Siri. I've disabled the, the voice control right now. Um, but the one of the things about these lights, as mentioned before, there's a few things that you can do. You can change uh, the, the type of white light. You can change the color as well. You can also set up what they call recipes, so different modes depending on what you're trying to do. So that's just changed to relax. Go back to white, cancel that. Okay, then there's the option for scenes. So this is a set of preset scenes that already exist. And so we can go to Savannah Sunset. I don't, I'm not sure how well this is coming up on the camera. That's changed to kind of an orangey color. Uh, we can change to Tropical Twilight. So it changes to a, a purple-ish color. Um, aquatic Aurora. So it's kind of a, a, a sharp, I guess, bluish number. Spring Blossom, a uh, pinkish color. Um, and there's basically various ones that you can set up. Um, so you can dim it. You can go to night, night light mode, uh, dimmed mode, and then uh, back to bright. And so again, all this time you can change uh, the level of the brightness um, and, and reconfigure different scenes. You can turn each light on independently, or you can just turn off all the lights. So again, if you're going to bed and you've left lights on, just simply turn all the lights off. Um, so that's good. And I think one of the other things, obviously, uh, about these lights, because they're LED, you know, they're pretty much cold to touch, um, which is great. The silver section here, obviously, that does generate some heat, um, but kind of nothing kind of overwhelming. So that's good. So what uh, we'll look at now is um, these other two bulbs and basically see what the variance is uh, in color. So let me just see if I can... I guess one other thing uh, that we can look at before we shut this down is there's various um, what they call routines that you can set up. So there's a section on home and away. Um, so I think you have to log into uh, MyHue to be able to do this, um, which enables location awareness. Um, no interest in looking at that right now, but basically when you're coming home or leaving, you can have it do certain things. You can set it to wake up, um, so you can, I guess, set timers, so at certain times uh, they will turn on. You can also set it to go to sleep, so at certain times the lights are gonna dim uh, for sleeping. I think it's gonna be really handy for kids. Uh, and then just a, a set of custom schedule routines that you can, can do. So let's uh, get these other bulbs uh, ready, and then we can um, take some examples of the different, um, the lighting to see how they can care. Okay, so we've currently got the um, the hue white and color light in there that we've been discussing already. So I'm gonna put this back in the box and then we can basically see, um, you know, how well or how it compares to the other type of lights. So remember, this is the most expensive light, uh, 50 pounds. So again, slightly warm to the touch. Goes that away safely. Okay, so then this is the, the next cheapest light. So this is the white ambience. Um, so this one retails about £25 in the UK. So the Hue White Ambience. And I believe this is the, the newer uh, light bulb. So we're not going to use app for this, I'm going to set it up. Um, this obviously is the brightness of this one. So it seems, at least uh, to my eye, to be a very similar colour to that um, of the, the ambient white and, and colour. And I think that's really what I'm expecting, what I'm after. So the colours should be pretty much the same. Obviously with the difference that this one isn't colour changing. So that looks fine. OK. 
And then finally, the cheapest one, as I can retails about £15 here in the UK. This one is just white and is a more traditional uh, uh, light bulb shape. So I'm expecting this one to be a more yellower light, but we will certainly see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these lights are bright, um, but yeah, slightly yellower uh, than the other two, I think. Um, so, uh, I'll see if I can uh, insert a, I guess, a video or a, a shot at the end here that kind of shows the colour difference between the three. Um, and I'll probably do uh, a follow-up video uh, in the future about kind of how I find uh, the variance or the difference between these three bulbs uh, and kind of what I decide to go with. Because I think, like I said, it's a, a really significant variance in investment. Um, so, like I said, the £15 one, 806 lumens, um, the uh, £25 one, again, 806 lumens, and the quite sure actually for these um, again 806 lumens as well so I think it really is about um, color temperature that's uh, and obviously design and um, that uh, I guess uh, differentiates um, the cost of the bulbs also um, the features as well so you'll see on all of the boxes on the website there's different information here so um, a key, a calendar, a time, and a, a home, a picture of the house. Um, this one kind of has the sunrise, 24 hour, a frost sign, sun sign, etc. So there's different uh, capabilities of each of the bulbs. Um, so you can't, you know, not all bulbs are created equal. Um, so again, that's I guess important to kind of understand. So. Yes, so that's just a brief introduction um, to Philips Hue. So I, I think it's going to be enjoyable to try out. Like I said, do a follow-up video in the Smart Home series about kind of what bowls I've decided to go with and why. Um, and also, if you've got Philips Hue and you decided to buy certain bulb, certain bulbs over others, or perhaps you decide not to go with a Philips brand and use one of the others, uh, please leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think, what you found. Uh, and your experience because um, I think you know you want to spend wisely like I said you can you either spend 150 pounds for free bulbs or perhaps you're just spending um, you know 45 pound um, for free bulbs so a huge uh, variance depending on, on the approach you take so yeah Philips you thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.